Bro, what is this, bro? Please tell me what the hell is this? If you don't know what this is, this is the, the monument that supposedly represents Martin Luther King in Boston. That represents Martin Luther King and Coretta Scott King. First of all, who authorized this? Who said that it was okay to represent us under the light that we should be represented under? See, when a group of people control another group of people, this is what happens. First of all, we don't even know how or who to complain to in order to take this down. Anytime you ask for permission for shit like that, this is what's going to happen. Why do we got to ask for permission? People, we have to understand. We have to stop letting other people control and dictate what happens to us, for us, around us. I'm telling you, we have to ask for permission. We have to go to somebody to, we should be able to say, man, if, if you don't take this down, this and this and that gonna happen. But we've been so brainwashed till we were afraid Keep telling you, man, nothing's going to change, man. And all, all my videos, I just try to get people to start using this. You want to get to the core of it? I got to break the mental chains in your brain. I have to first let you understand that you are in bondage. You have to understand that. Secondly, how could this represent us without our approval? Who approved this? You look at this from certain angles, you get certain... You don't know what it is. You don't know if they're hugging. You don't know if they're holding their head down in shame. What is this? They already gave my little king every dirty street in America. That lets you know what they feel. Anytime you see railroad tracks and you on the southwest part of the of, the, of that city, especially when you see Martin Luther King, man, you in the hood, man. But I keep telling y'all, we don't need permission from them to give us no holidays. I told y'all Juneteenth became a holiday only because it has enough potential to have influence so that they can make money from it. Cause they could have been here, they could this could have been a holiday. But no, we gotta wait till they cut the ribbon and write it in the books and man, fuck all that, man. How is it gonna be Mother Day when it's Mother Day every day? But we celebrate it once a once a year. Father's Day, once a year. Keep telling you, when you keep asking for permission, you're going to always get put on. Anytime you deal with a certificate, you are asking for permission from the certifier. See how those words work? The certifier has to certify you and give you a certificate so that you can show everybody else that you've been Gave permission to do whatever it is that you try to do. You're asking for permission. I'm telling y'all, man. I keep saying the same thing. But I don't know who authorized this. This I don't know what that is. Don't nobody know what that is. What is that? It's equivalent to when they send black people to speak on behalf of black people. When we know these people that they send works for them. We did not we did not authorize them or to talk on our behalf. No, the people should have the choice to say who we appoint to speak for us. Not the powers that be. To send these little watchdogs out there. But whether you believe it or not, whether you like it or not, you have to understand the perception to the world is that whoever they send out there to speak on the behalf of black people. It is perceived that way by default. And again, when you let another group of people control another group of people, this is what happens. But well, again, I don't know what that is, man. They don't really push Malcolm X like that because Martin Luther King was a, was very he was rational. You know what I'm saying? Malcolm X was like, you know what? Malcolm X was like this here. 
if we're not allowed to go eat in restaurants or be in certain places, why would you fight to be somewhere where you're not wanted? It's just common sense. And yes, segregation did screw us up, major, because it, it, it made blacks want to eat and be around other people to, to feel accepted. So we stopped, we stopped spending money with other black businesses. We spent money with other businesses so that we can fit in. And it, it goes further than that. I'm gonna do a whole nother video on, on segregation. It was more than that. It was it was a lot of things to do with uh, black inventors, um, the, the ideas that blacks came up with. They just didn't have the funding or the resources. <clears throat> and they saw where to integrate and then they can take over these patents or they can take over these ideas and certain stuff like that. Um, we, we've achieved a lot and they wanted to be a part of that. So it was all a plan, man. Like, come on, you know, I'm gonna go in more depth in, in depth in that. But I don't know who I, uh, who, who, who authorized this statue. I don't know. But like I say, in order for you to be found, you must first be lost. And we lost like a mother. Enjoy y'all day.